Hey, Marzine, what's up? What up? Guess what? We've been invited by Minnie to join them in the Dakar Rally in Peru. <laughs> Get your stuff together. We're leaving in two weeks. Here we are in Peru, we're in the middle of the desert, refueling the Countryman SD. Uh, we've had a really great trip over here, business class, which was really, really lovely. Especially when you have a connecting flight from Amsterdam to Atlanta and then to Lima. And in Lima we had an amazing five-star hotel at the Hilton. Uh, it was really nice, uh, we had a day off. So uh, we didn't have any Dakar related activities. So we got a city tour of Lima, which was super nice. I mean, the city, the history, the influences, both Western and uh, Southern American. I mean, when you get to know the history of Peru and the culture, you just realize it's such an amazing country with such a a rich history and it's incredible if you ever go to Peru you really have to visit Lima because it's really special so I'm sure Max will have a cool montage right about now <laughs> So we are now on our way to San Juan de Marcona, I think it's called, which is all the way in the south. Uh, of course you see that Max isn't here, where is he? Well he got sick, so um, we decided that he would stay at the hotel in Lima and I would go do the um, Dakar experience. You know I'm going to sleep in my tent, as you can see these minis have roof tents and they are really really cool I think. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be one big adventure. I've been driving for six hours now in the Countryman Cooper SD. Great drive train, by the way, for such trips. It's an all four, so four wheel drive, which you kind of need when you go to the desert. Uh, yeah, I think the next few days are going to be really special.
switch to my phone cam. Uh, let's see if I can order something at the bar. He's like, he's about to do it. I love tasting so you guys. <laughs> can I have a beer? Mr. Llama. What is it, Llama or an Alpaca? Alpaca. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Alpaca. See, he's, he's, me he's mad. Because <laughs> he messed up his origins. These eyes, though, are really big, huh? What a, what a crowd, really, really cool. I mean, these people are actually proud that their country is organizing this event and you really notice they're all happy and smiling and filming and they really like our little club of minis. It's amazing. And here it is, this is the Bivak, the place where everything gets fixed, where every driver sleeps, where we are going to sleep, a lot of trucks. And I think this is like the center of the Dakar rally. And I'm really curious what it would be like to sleep here, to stay here, to eat here. It's really special. We have an X7 over here. Maybe you should cover that up. mini convoy make sure all minis are in the same color because this looks really cool uh, this is the end of day one it's getting dark as you can see um, yeah it's been quite a day quite a long day actually because I had to drive everything by myself and uh, normally you do it with two people so enjoy the time lapse I'm recording at the moment and I'll see you at the next day and the next video bye guys Ooh.